Hey y'all, how's it going? My name is Jordan, also known as Scraps, and today I'll be guiding you through this hungry vampire synth. It's more of a a, a beef -a synth, but um, it should be fine. Um, other than that, check out the example and I'll guide you on how to create the synth. So here's the example. Okay, so how to break this patch up, let's just start from scratch. So I'm going to go to my Reason, File, New, drag up my Mixer, drag down my Sequencer, and inside my Reason, I'm going to right-click and go to Utilities. If you can't right-click, the easiest way to get that menu is to hold down Control and left-click to get the same menu. I'm going to go to my Utilities and create a Combinator. Inside this combinator, I'm going to create from instruments a maelstrom. Now for this maelstrom, what we're actually going to be doing is just modifying this one and using a preset patch underneath this maelstrom with another one and a little bit of distortion and mastering and you guys will have the patch. So let's get to it. Maelstrom is broken into three sections. It's usually modulation section, the oscillator modulation and the the arrangements of how the sign uh, works and acts like you have the octaves and semis and cents for very fine tuning then the third is the filters the shaper the filter envelope filter a and filter b so let's start with our modulation first i'm going to turn down the polyphony to one instead of eight and the range we're going to leave where it is I'm going to push up the index to maybe 25 and I'm going to push up the shift to 12. For the filter we're going to take that to negative 12 Oop. and the modulation just leave that where it is. For the mod wheel make sure it's, its target is A. For our mod A we're going to take this to a rising down sign. So let me see if I can find it. That's way too far. Where are you? It should be right up. Yep, there you are. Curve 9, I think. Let me make sure it's... Yep, curve 9. Okay, so now we're going to take our rate all the way down to 28. We're going to make sure it's on one shot. We're going to push up the index to 12. Boop. And our shift to 12 as well. Boop. For modulation B, oh, and also for this little switch, make sure its target is A. For modulation B, make sure that the rate is turned down to about 40. The motion is up, I'm sorry, the motion is up to about 12. The volume can stay where it is, so at 0. Filter will be at negative 12. And mod A will just be poked a bit, so about 2. Okay, so for our oscillator A, we're going to take this all the way to, let's see, I'm trying to look for spectral sweep. It should just be in effects, but it's not up here. Uh, oh crap. I oh, okay, here it is. Spectral sweep is in synth, and it's right before the FMs. So right below uh, FM1234, Juno, and Random Filter, you'll be able to find Spectral Sweep. We're going to take the motion down to negative. I want to be exactly precise with the synth because it's very picky. To negative 30. We're going to push out the index to 21. 
boop, 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 or 20. And we'll hold shift to get that extra one. There we go. We're going to push it up an octave and leave it where it is. Same thing with the filter. So for oscillator 2, we're going to take this to a PMW, PWM synth. We're going to leave it where it is for the motion. Turn up the shift to about 12. And that's, that's it for the synths. We're going to turn on all three routing settings. So uh, all three of these buttons need to be on. Shaper needs to be turned on. And make sure the amount is a little bit less than half, so about 40. We're going to change the combinator to a plus type for our filter B. We're going to push up the frequency to about 88. Push up the resonance to about 32. And do the same thing for filter A. Put it on a combinator plus. Turn up the filter to about 88. Turn up the resonance to 32. And do we do anything with the spray? Nope. So that's about it for the hard part of the synth. Okay. So after this, we're going to right click. Or what you can do instead of making a new maelstrom is click, left hold click, and hold down option. It'll give you this little plus. You can drag it down and then let go of option to get another maelstrom. So I'm actually going to flip this over by hitting tab. I'm going to take the output of the main out, plug it into the input of the second maelstrom. Make sure both are attached. And now that we're back here, I'm going to right click and we're going to create from Creative Effects a screen for distortion. So it's taking our main out from our second maelstrom and plugging it into our screen 4. This is where we want to be. But for our second maelstrom, we want this to be a versus wobble base. And we found I found this patch by going through my Re Reason Factory sound bank. We're going to scroll through our maelstrom patches. Go to base. Should be near the bottom. Versus wobble base. And it has everything already to go. We don't need to mess with anything else. For our screen 4, what we're going to do is take the damage to about 40. We're going to turn it to scream all the way at the bottom. We're going to turn P1 to 84. And P2 to make it at 0. We don't mess with the body, so we're no, we know we're good on that. We're going to create a... Soft tube saturation. Now this is a rack extension. It does come free though. I'm going to turn it to keep low and I'm going to put it to 2.5. After this I'm going to grab my M class equalizer from my studio effects. Turn on low cut, low shelf, parameter 1, parameter 2, and high shelf. Take low cut, I'm sorry, low shelf and take that 110 hertz. Gain all the way down, Q all the way up. Take that to about 205 hertz, push that down even more, and push up the gain all the way. Actually, let's make this 405 hertz. For the parameter 2, take this about 2.354 kilohertz, gain down, Q all the way up. High shelf, 3000 kilohertz. Take that to 2.3 and push up the shelf to 2, or all the way in this case. Then we grab a maximizer from Studio Effects by right clicking or control clicking on our M class equalizer. Having a bit of allergies. I'm going to take out my limiter, put release to auto, turn on soft clip, and turn the amount to 127. And there you guys have it your hungry vampire scent. Oh. I also forgot, if this doesn't automatically connect, what you can do is you can take your outs, your audio outs, and plug it into your from devices of Combinator. Now, if you've noticed this doesn't have a lot of low end, what you can do is take off low shelf.
So there you guys have it. If you have a patch that has just meds, you take off low shelf. If you don't want low, you turn on low shelf. So thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you guys Monday for something new.